NXT has entered into the Ilya Dragunov era. The NXT Championship changed hands with Dragunov defeating Carmelo Hayes at no mercy on Saturday night. Dragunov pinned Carmelo Hayes after delivering a Super H bomb from the top rope. Dragunov then showed respect to Carmelo following the intense and hard-hitting match. He helped Hayes to his feet and the two embraced after Dragunov offered a handshake. Carmelo's reign as NXT Champion lasted nearly six Six months. He won the title from Braun Breaker back in April. This was Ilya Dragunov's second time challenging Carmelo Hayes for the championship. At Great American Bash, Dragunov was unsuccessful in his first attempt to defeat Hayes. Dragunov had blamed Trick Williams for that loss. Trick Williams wasn't at ringside for this match at No Mercy. When Dragunov was in NXT UK, he held the NXT United Kingdom Championship one time. This is his first reign as NXT Champion. The main event of the night was an Extreme Rules match that saw Becky Lynch defeat Tiffany Stratton to retain the NXT Women's Championship. This was a war between both women that saw Becky start the match with a cart of weapons. They fought into the crowd and up the stairs. Tiffany Stratton had Becky Lynch trapped in the handrail, so a fan handed Lynch a gold chain and she used it to hit Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany was busted open early on in the match. Other notable moments include Becky pulling out a black bag with torn apart Barbie dolls. Becky slammed Tiffany onto the doll and Tiffany left the ring so Becky started whipping the doll arms and legs at her. Later in the match, Becky hit Tiffany once with a barbed wire bat, but Tiffany ducked another swing and the bat went flying. Tiffany then drove Becky Becky through the barricade with a handspring elbow. Fast forward to the finish, Tiffany tried a moonsault to the outside, but Becky moved and hit a manhandle slam, which drew a two count in the ring. Tiffany hit a rolling fireman's carry onto the chairs, but she missed the moonsault and landed right on the chairs. Becky followed by giving Tiffany the manhandle slam on the steel chairs for the pinfall win. It was later noted that Becky Lynch suffered a laceration on her arm at NXT No Mercy. Although it's unclear when she sustained the injury, Becky can be seen favoring her arm at multiple points during the later stages of the match. Becky motioned for a ringside trainer and pointed at her arm immediately following her win. She posted a photo of the injury to social media later that night. Fightful Select is reporting that Becky Lynch's wound required 11 stitches to close. She is reportedly fine otherwise. Becky is scheduled to defend the NXT Women's Championship against Tegan on Monday's edition of Raw. Tegan Knox was seated ringside with Becky Lynch versus Tiffany Stratton on last night's show. Also at NXT No Mercy, Trick Williams scored the biggest victory of his career so far. Trick Williams defeated Dominic Mysterio on Saturday night to win the NXT North American Championship. Dominic had been champion since winning the title from Wesley this July. Dragon Lee served as a special guest referee for Williams and Dominic's title match. At one point, Dominic took Dragon Lee out with a super kick after Williams moved out of the way. Another referee came down but was also inadvertently laid out. Dominic tried to take advantage of the situation by hitting Williams with the North American title belt, but Williams avoided it and dropped Dominic with a knee strike. Dragon Lee then woke up in enough time to count the pin for Williams. WWE shared footage of Shawn Michaels congratulating Trick Williams backstage after his victory. This is the first title that he has ever held. He is a former college football player that signed with WWE back in 2021. Trick Williams earned the North American title shot at no mercy by defeating Axiom Dragon Lee and Tyler Bate in a fatal four-way match on NXT this past Tuesday. Williams and NXT champion Carmelo Hayes were shown arriving together on the pre-show for no mercy. As mentioned earlier in this video, Carmelo Hayes did lose the NXT championship to Ilya Dragunov and at the closing of the show, during a backstage segment after losing to Dragunov, Hayes appeared to briefly have his eyes on Trick Williams North American title belt. NXT has also revealed the participants for their upcoming women's breakout tournament. During the show, it was revealed that Jakara Jackson, Carmen Petrovic, Lola Vice, Jada Parker, Izzy Dame, Danny Palmer, Kehlani Jordan, and Ariana Grace will take part in this year's tournament, with the matches beginning on Tuesday's show. This is the second year in a row that NXT has held the breakout tournament featuring women. Roxanne Perez defeated Tiffany Stratton in the finals to win 
in the tournament. Both would go on to hold the NXT Women's Championship in the following year. This October, WWE is celebrating Halloween with a special two-week episode of NXT. WWE has announced that this year's edition of NXT Halloween Havoc will take place across two weeks. Part one of the episode is set for Tuesday, October 24th. The episode will then conclude with part two on Halloween night, Tuesday, October 31st. This is the fourth straight year that Halloween Havoc has been an NXT TV special. Halloween Havoc will be one of NXT's final special events of 2023. The last NXT premium live event of the year is Deadline, which is being held in Bridgeport, Connecticut on Saturday, December 9th. Deadline will feature the return of NXT's Iron Survivor Challenge match. LA Knight is all set to team with John Cena at WWE Fastlane. The end of SmackDown saw LA Knight make the save for John Cena who was being assaulted two-on-one by Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso. After laying out both Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, Ali Knight signed the contract to team with John Cena at Fastlane on October 7th. A show-long storyline saw Uso and Sokoa wreck havoc backstage in an effort to prevent others from teaming with John Cena next weekend. The show last week had John Cena originally planning to team with AJ Styles, only for Styles to be laid out backstage by both men. Men, sending him out of the arena in an ambulance. Also added to Fastlane is Io Sky defending the WWE Women's Championship against Charlotte Flair and Asuka in a three-way match. Charlotte declared her intentions to challenge Io Sky prior to defeating Bayley on Friday's show. After the win, damage control was set to target Charlotte when Asuka came out for the save. Bayley then accepted a three-way on behalf of Io Sky for Fastlane. The updated lineup for Sunday's Fastlane includes a last man standing match for the World Heavyweight Championship, Seth Rollins defending against Shinsuke Nakamura, Io Sky defending her title against Asuka and Charlotte Flair, John Cena and Ali Knight versus Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, and Rey Mysterio and the LWO versus Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. Another note from SmackDown, it was noticeable during Friday's show that Edge has been removed from the introductory video opening of the program. When WWE uploaded a video of their new intro back on September 8th, Edge coming out to his pyro could be seen. Although Edge had said that his contract with WWE was set to expire, he had also said that a contract was currently sitting in his inbox. After PW Insider reported that Edge was removed from WWE's internal roster, he was added back on though he is no longer listed as an active television performer. According to the Pro Wrestling Torch, Edge is believed to be AEW bound after not signing a new deal with WWE. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode.